accountants, dinner ladies, pilots, admirable jobs. But this lady, I'm going to call you Mother Nature, has got the best job in the world. We're at Copfields Farm, Ashton Underline, on the border of Oldham as well. Hello, Lauren. Hello. What's happening here? We're feeding animals. Oh, yeah, these are our pygmy goats. Absolutely lovely animals to have as pets. Uh, this is Frida. She's my favourite. Hi, Frida. Favorite. Oh, as she's lovely. They all act like they've never seen food before. They seem starving to me, mm -hmm. but they're just greedy. They are really greedy. Although Shelly with the big belly over there isn't getting up. Hi, Shelly. <laughs> is she just lazy or is she pregnant? Uh, she's actually Shelly with a big belly. She's not pregnant. Oh, Shelly. Mm -hmm. She had twins a few months ago. However, never lost the baby weight, never joined Weight Watchers, embraces <laughs> all the food. She can. Hello. These are our reindeer. So this is Prancer. Hello, Prancer. And this is Dancer. Hi, Dancer. When the kids aren't around, this is Beyonce and this is Michelle. <laughs> of course, mm -hmm. everyone has stage names these days. Yeah, so Beyonce is such a poser. These are absolutely lovely animals. Do you know what I never noticed? Furry antlers. Yes, this is velvet on their antlers, and they actually drop them off every year. So there's a cycle to an antler. So they're very, very clever. Uh, it's all to do with them having babies. So basically, when they're due to have babies, they grow their antlers so they can protect their young. And then they scratch all this velvet off, and then they eventually fall off, and they regrow their antler every year. So they've grown to this size in yeah. less than a year? Yeah. That's amazing. They started, I think, Hers fell off in March, and this is where they've got to. Oh, wow. And we're in order. Are they're sturdy as well, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, really sturdy. Really do they ever tough. fight? Because I watch a lot of wild shows. David Attenborough, it's got to be. <laughs> do they fight at all? Boys, mainly. Not really girls. You have no trouble with the girls at all. But you will see boys, and especially during rutting, boys will do some damage. Hey, come here, Lord, come here, come here. Christmas is coming on the way. I, I shouldn't mention it. I know it's too early, but... How do they fly? Because I know they're going to fly. Top secret. Santa's secret food. Can't let you in on that, I'm afraid. He shops at Waitrose, doesn't he? I bet he does, Santa. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. Can we come back at Christmas, boss, please? Of course you can. Right, okay. <laughs> secret safe with me. We'll get we'll get the secret post for the time. Oh, that's the pig. Wow! Me, oh my, let's remix that and get it on the album. That's amazing. These Hello, are gorgeous. Girl. So these are our Kerry Hill sheep. Um, I'm going to be completely honest with you. Sheep are my least favourite. Oh, why is that? I've been taken out by too many sheep. Sheep racing, trying to catch them. I have been taken out. I feel like I'm in the Emperor's New Groove. <laughs> is that an alpaca? Yeah. Look at that. Disney. Yeah. Always inspiring. Yeah. So the white one is Tiffany and the brown one is Frank. Frank. Tiffany has sass. <laughs> she has attitude for an alpaca. Look at that hair. What's the difference between an alpaca and a llama? They're actually quite similar, apart from they're slightly taller and they use their wool for like socks and clothes and jumpers, but they're both used for like guard dogs, so farmers will get them, put them in the field, and they'll protect the flock. Sorry, they, they defend yeah. the farm? Yeah, best oh guard my God. dog ever. Elliot is amazing. I have been spat at by Elliot so many times. He's a really <laughs> good guard dog. <laughs> I'm going to put a yeah. sign on the front of my house, beware of the llama. Yeah, beware of the llama. <laughs> no one's going to come near us. So what a ruckus. Pig. Gloucester old stock pig. And they are oh, so yes. noisy, so demanding. <laughs> they love a belly rub. Oh, yes. These are the pigs we actually wash. So we do wash a pig, get them covered in water, little brushes, give them a good, a good clean. Oh, look at them. They're actually called Fee, Fi and Fo. Not that I can remember which one's which because they all look the same. Genius name. Yeah, they love it. We did wash a pig once. And when we do wash a pig, you run them out of the barn and they go into a pen in the corner. So we did that fine. Uh, however, we didn't shut the gate onto the field. So the pig got out. Oh, my God. It was like chicken run, but pig style. <laughs> they were everywhere. 45 minutes it took to catch oh. the pigs. Yeah, it was a workout. It was a workout. How, how do you get them back into the pen? Because they must be so heavy as well. Yeah, well, a lot they scream as well, pigs. So it's not like, it sounds like you're really hurting them and they're not. Yeah. It, they just give out this, oh, it's worse than a baby cry. They just give us all. What do they sound like? Go on. Oh, it's like, Aah! it's awful. <laughs> it is awful. Really, really bad. 
that was amazing. But, yeah, but basically, you either grab them, try and coax them in with a bit of food, or basically you just kind of straddle on and try and guide it in and oh hope God. for the best. This must be the best job, the best job in the world. Ever, and we saved the best for last because I absolutely love cows. They are... Oh, right away. Hello. Rupert. This is Fernando. The black one's Fernando, and this is Edgar. Oh, they're at, so these are Jersey cows, and Fernando is a Dexter, and they're just big, gentle giants. Absolutely <laughs> lovely. Look at their eyelashes. They look like you put mascara on that. No, they look like they should be in a next catalogue, don't they? Like advertising something. They are beautiful. Oh, the nose are wet as well. What, why is that? Look at that. They've just got healthy animal. Wet nose, healthy animal. Oh, they're just, they're so lovely. Look at his big eyes. Fernando's really old. I think he's about 12. Oh, wow, Fernando. He's a, uh, yeah. In the field when they go out at night, the, the field like right next, the other farmer lets the, their cows out. And if there's any girls in that field, they will not come in. They're too busy flirting. <laughs> they're not interested in coming in here. They want to stay out there and flirt with the females on the other Ooh. side of the fence. A couple of studs. Yeah, they're amazing. And do you milk the cows? No, these are girls. Right, okay. Uh, so they're, no, sorry, they're boys. They're oh, all yeah, boys, they're not Fernando. girls. Yeah. yeah. So um, if we did have girls, we would, but we, we we don't do any dairy See, things with them. Call me stupid, that's another thing I didn't know. You only milk the female cows. Yeah, yeah. so these are bulls, but they've been done. So, yes, oh, they're so beautiful. Look at their faces. Hello. Oh, and then this is Flopsy and Cottontail. These are mini lots. Oh, yes. Oh, they're so beautiful. I'm in the mood for a chocolate egg now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Hello. Oh, Cottontail, the beautiful. Really, really nice. Love Aww. being forced. They were a trio, so I had Flopsy, Mopsy, and Cottontail. Uh, but Mopsy turned out to be a boy. Oh, Mopsy. Yeah, Mopsy went to live with my friend. Well, it's diverse, anyway. Yeah. Do you mind if I hold the rabbit? Oh, no, you you hold the mic, I'll, I'll hold, hold the rabbit. The mic. You interview you hold me. The rabbit. <gasps> oh, hello. Hello, what's your name? Where'd you come from? My name's Joshua, and I'm in the hunt for a rabbit. Oh, well, you've come to the right place. <laughs> I laughed at Frisky before he leaves. Oh, oh yeah. Like They're really friendly. friendly, yeah. Oh. They're lovely. I love the big chin. Look at that chin. Like, <laughs> obviously, I wouldn't want oh, a double oh, chin, but look at that chin. When you get stressed at work, other people go out for a cigarette, but do you just come here and stroke the bunny? Yeah, when, when I first started, we used to have pigs outside, and I used to go in the pig loo and sit with the pigs, and then nobody could find me. Where's Lauren? Yeah. She's with the pigs. In the pig loo, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, is he just being inquisitive there? Just, yeah, just on his. Nosy and like, oh. Turning to be a meerkat, I think. Oh, we've got meerkats, I need to show the meerkats. <laughs> Meerkat.com. Hey, we're going cinema later. <laughs> meerkat movies, believe it or not. <laughs> And we can't hold them just the way the enclosure's set about. And yeah, no, they're really, they're not. I want to say they're friendly enough, as in if you went in there and was still, they'd crawl all over you. Um, however, if you went to stroke them, they would, they would bite you. Crikey. Now, I've stroked all the cute animals. It's only fair I come and see the ones I'm not too fond of, but lovely Lauren's gonna try and make me love him, aren't you? Yes, this is Bob. Hi, Bob. The ball python, really easy going. One of the best snakes you can have as a pet. He literally spends his life in a ball. I've never been this close to a snake. The boss was laughing before. I said, I bet they're gonna have snakes. And I'm quite terrified, He's but. really friendly. I always assume they're going to be very slivery and, you know, climb all over you. No, really easy going. Quite dry, actually. Have a feel. Have a feel? Yeah. Oh, lovely. <laughs> oh, that, but, oh, again, he's cold. Quite yeah, cold. They're cold blooded. He's obviously, he's got a heat lamp in there to keep him warm, but while he's in his hide, that's like his cold zone. Um, yeah, really, really nice. He's not slimy. If you think they're slimy, you've been playing with too many worms. Yeah, is uh, he heavy at all? I'll try. I'm going to try. Oh, James, James, you hold the mic. No hands. This is an exclusive. Look, we have a lovely little snake here, and I'm not scared at all. That is quite a lot heavier than I thought. Yeah, he's all chunky, um, all muscle. Really cold. Yeah. Refrigerated snake. Yeah. That is lovely. I've just conquered a bit. I know, I'm, oh I'm really god. proud. <laughs> oh my god. Is it a chameleon? Oh my god, is it a chameleon? Yeah. There's so many jokes I have. 
That is absolutely stunning. This is a panther chameleon. A panther chameleon. And he's called Eugene. And he's absolutely stunning. How do you come up with the names? I just like all just different <laughs> names. Yeah. It's an I old man name. <laughs> yeah, I love him. Tell us about Eugene. So How does he live? How do you look after him? Eugene comes from Madagascar. And he just eats bugs, really. So we give him crickets, locusts. Um, he's got a tongue as long as his body. Wow. And when he actually comes out for the food, it, is t it actually happens in slow motion. It's bizarre how it works. It's like... That is crazy. Oh, my God. Yeah, it he's got two independent eyes. So while he's looking at you, he's also looking over there. Ah, uh, he can sense danger yeah. with us. And he'll only focus his eyes when he's ready to, to eat his prey. And does he change colour? Does he camouflage? That is a myth. So no, Lauren, we're going to fall out. <laughs> is it really a myth? It is 100% a myth. He will change colour, however, only to suit his mood or his temperature. Oh. So now he's kind of happy, but he does get a lot brighter. So these will get really, really bright green. Under his chin, don't you can see, it goes like orange and yellow. And then when he's grumpy, in a bad mood, not having a very good day, he'll go like a brown, crispy leaf. Oh. Really dark green. My brown. mother does that. Does she? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hi kids, you caught us all in this here by far. My name's Joshua and this is a lovely Lauren. Hello. Howdy. I'm so excited. <laughs> I've got a real live cowgirl. <laughs> Just tell us where are we? Is it a barn? This is our events barn, uh, where we do different events and everything. But obviously we've got so many barns. We've got the animal barn, play barn, the barn where the reptiles are. Hopefully this will become some sort of animal barn as well, whether it's a reptile room, who knows? What kind of events do you pull it? So in here we've had the unicorn event, I've done Easter in here, Christmas in here, um, Harry Potter. Um, oh, got me. Yeah, uh, I can't really think what else, but you've had so much going on in here. Lauren, come, come, come here, come here. I thought unicorns were a myth. No, unicorns are real. I knew that. James, you lied to me. <laughs> that sounds unicorns adorable though, doesn't it? Are real, yeah. So are these every other month, every week, just during the summer, the it's winter? When, when we can get the unicorn to come on down, she's really busy unicorn. What do you feed a unicorn? Oh, that's top secret, I can't tell you. There's too many top secrets today. I feel like Tom Cruise <laughs> and Mission Impossible just trying to get information for you. No, it's very, very top <laughs> secret. Um, can't tell you what the unicorn eats, I'm afraid. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> in all seriousness, no, I, I think this is the best job in the world for I you. Love, do you agree? Yeah, I love my job. It is... You don't feel like you're coming to work, and I feel like that's the best kind of job you can have. I'm so jealous. Yeah, but they do say don't work with animals and children, and I, I work with both. You've got <laughs> yeah. Off. yeah. How long have you worked here? Uh, just over three years now. Love my job. Um, before this, I used to be a dental nurse, so massive change in. I can see the connection. Yeah, Lauren. Yeah, I've always loved my animals though, so yeah, this is a dream come true. So how did that happen? You just come in one day and go, I want to work with animals. <laughs> well. Uh, I've been coming for years when they've just been the fish, they had a small amount of animals. I used to bring my mum's goddaughter and she's turning 13 now, so it has been years. And then I had my daughter, brought her to come and see Elsa, I was checked in so they had my name and then I got a sneaky message saying, uh, would I be interested in trialling for a job? Oh and three God. years later, here I am. It's a no-brainer. Yeah. It's yeah. just not fair. No. <laughs> How do we take an animal home? That was my goal today. I'm going to have to frisk you today. To <laughs> <laughs> what animal do you think can fit in this outfit? You never know. <laughs> Lauren, you're absolutely amazing. Thank you. Can we have a hug in the barn? <laughs> under the sunlight? Oh, yes. <laughs> Only at Cockfields Farm. Thank you, Lauren. <laughs> you <laughs>